White House Director of Science and Technology just made a stunning admission. He said, we have the technology to manipulate time and space. What's gravity? Warping space time. Uh, this is deep. It's huge. Did he really mean this? This comes on the hill of uh, Donald Trump's mission. And we have weapons, the likes of which uh, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin never heard of. What are they talking about, my friends? This is weird. It's off the charts. Is it a bluff or is it real? What do we have? Uh, we're going to go on this real brief. It's going to be a quick video tonight, but I just want to get this out to you. We're going to do a share screen just so you can see what we're talking about. And this is it right here. <clears throat> this is Michael uh, Kratzius is the director of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. So he might know something about the technology that the United States has. And he made uh, these remarks. You see, this is on the White House letterhead up here under the articles. Uh, he made these remarks at the Endless Frontier Retreat. And uh, he says, our technologies permit us to manipulate time and space. It's right here, guys. There's a video here with him saying. Our sent. passenger planes are slower than they used to be. Our trains crawl compared to those in other parts of the world. Our cars do not fly. Advances have not stopped, but something has gone wrong. Our passenger planes Oops, are slower yeah. than they used to be. Sorry, guys. Our trains crawl compared to those in other parts of the world. Our cars do not fly. Advances have not stopped, but something has gone wrong. Stagnation was a choice. A choice. We have weighed down our builders and innovators. The well-intentioned regulatory regime yeah, of the 1970s became an ever-tightening ratchet, first hampering America's ability to become a net energy exporter and then making it harder and harder to build. We seem to have lost focus and vision to have lowered our sights. By comparison, now think about it. China just built the tallest bridge in the world. They did it in three years. We wouldn't have the paperwork clear in three years. Uh, you know, back when I was a kid in the 60s, you know, it seemed like, you know, we were on our way to the moon and things were happening fast. You know, it was only a few decades before uh, earlier that we had the first human flight. Things were progressing fast. And if things had stayed on the same curve, we'd probably be at Pluto by now. You know, it, it's it, you know, and I remember when uh, you know the cars in the fifties had the afterburners, you know, the the jet and rocket plume tail lights. You know, uh, people were looking forward to the future, and then we just kind of forgot about it. We turned inward in the seventies and decided to spend our time inspecting our own naval buttons. Well, anyway, it's and let systems and structures and bureaucracies muddle us along. Yeah, bureaucracies really tied us down. But we are capable of so much more. Our technologies permit us to manipulate time and space. There you go. Our technologies permit us to manipulate time and space. They leave distance annihilated. Leave distance annihilated. Distance means nothing? Are we talking about teleportation? Cause things to grow and improve productivity. Our passenger plan. There you go. So what does it mean by that? Well, just to... Bring it into context. Uh, you know, I should have uh, increased the size of this. Hang on. As you may recall, this is President Trump talking here. We're very powerful. This country is very powerful. You know, we are far more powerful than people understand. We have weaponry that... More powerful than people understand. Let me back it up a little bit here. We have weaponry... Nobody has any idea what it is, and it is the most powerful weapons in the world that we have. Wow. Nobody has any idea what it is, the most powerful weapons in the world. Are we the only ones that have it? Well, that seems to be what he's alluding, but, you know, I really got to question that. More powerful than anybody even, not even close. So nobody's going to do that, but I, but I think that if that's what you refer Wow. So let me uh, shrink this one down. As many of you know, and we've talked about this before, and I've had videos before any of this stuff come out uh, on my channel talking about research into alternate physics, propulsion, 
what we might call anti-gravity. And this is Ashton Forbes. This is a post he put on uh, X here. I'm going to blow this up. He's done a lot of research into the disappearance of MH370. And because this is a drone with a FLIR camera monitoring an aircraft, which is a rare thing. We don't have just drones chasing all aircraft. But suspiciously, it was there, and a satellite was tracking it, too. So you were, there are two different sources for this video, according to uh, Ashton Forbes. There it goes. Moving a lot faster than this drone from that perspective. And it curves back. The drone is tracking. It's zooming in on it. This is of great interest to the drone for some reason. Here comes an orb. Amazing how this flare is really following this. Another orb leaving a reticular ionization trail behind him, it looks like. At least uh, cold. It would be cold energy. What flies with cold energy? Because it's, you know, cold is black. Heat is hot. Like it's sucking energy out of the atmosphere or maybe putting down some kind of vapor ionization trail and then poof it's gone How, what no debris no nothing what is that did somebody maybe put this video out just for us to see it is it faked in order to, to for some kind of bluff or is this real well they're really hinting that we got some kind of strange technology now. Yeah, he's he's uh, blowing it up here to try to get more into what's happening here. Oh, there's no sound on this. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get Dashing on the channel. Uh, he said send an email, so I think I'll probably be able to get him on the channel for an interview. I've just been busy. I'm having troubles with my computer right now, too. Believe it or not, poof. Just that's odd, really strange. What is that? Is a wormhole open? Something really strange and no debris. Now he's doing slow mo. Boom, whatever it is, it's gone. Strange stuff there. Let's see, maybe there's another video of that. other people talking about this video here uh, there is in black and white and see again poof reverse color comparisons and this is the other video from the other source if I can get it in large note let's play on through what is this guys what is happening here? Lots of your comments. This aircraft is flying through the air. That aircraft was in pro trouble. It had a fire on board. It was believed it would crash. And then this. And they started. Poof. It's gone. Well, not yet. It's about to be gone. Here we go. Right about here, probably. There it is. No debris, no nothing. Orbs, aircraft, all. Poof. He was recording this. Anyway, enough of that. What do you think happened? What technology? is Kratzius talking about? What's Trump talking about? Are they talking about this? Is it something else? When you're talking about manipulating time and space, it's really close to that. Hmm. Really strange. And Stephen Quast, General Stephen Quast, was talking uh, at a conference a couple of years ago about stuff he'd seen on engineer's desk that uh, evoked maybe the prospects of uh, either rapid rocket transport or teleporters. I don't know. Strange stuff. A lot of strange stuff out there right now you tell me i mean this is 10-4 cap time guys <laughs> big time uh you tell me what to make of it i mean I, the, the 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 director 
of science and technology at the White House made that statement. I mean, he's not a nobody. He should know what technology we have. What does he mean by that? You tell me. Eyes wide open, head on swivel. We're living in strange time, guys. <laughs> strange, strange times. All I'm going to say is thank you for watching. Break out.